Hello! Monsters of Aaron here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 11 of my Throp the Unclean campaign where Telsian, giving it beans, and taking on Luon once again. Oh my god, those clan rats are getting vaporized. Oh shit. Oh shit, son. Oh, fortunately, the, the state, well, state troops, the men at arms are also being vaporized. So we both got vaporized. So it's vaporization all round. Meanwhile, look, Luon's brought some of his own friends. He, he found out about the two, our two chieftains, Greg and Braz, and now he's like, well, I've got some, I've got some lads of my own now. He's got two paladins with him, so he's trying to take out Telsey. And fortunately, we've got more lads. We've got some clan rats, spawning in more clan rats, basically just to swarm them with numbers. To the rear of the enemy line, we had, or the column, I should say, because they were, we ambushed them. We had the Rat Ogres and Wolf Rats. The Rat Ogres quickly dispatched with the aid of the Chaos Warriors, most of the enemy cavalry, a few units still fleeing the battle there, and the Wolf Rats getting to the other side of the enemy line, and then are going to hunt down any fleeing units and make sure they don't come back. Okay, we're hunting down. Oh, there's Luon. He's currently just squishing clan rats while we uh, we, uh, we managed to take out one of his friends. That's right. Fuck you. Fuck you, Luan. Your friend's dead. And our friends are very much alive. Fuck you. All right, so we've got less friends. Never mind. Didn't like him anyway. Right, Luan is getting, is getting triple teams, which is how we like it. We've got the mutant rat ogre currently beating to death the paladin, or at least trying to, and he's got no armor, which is good. The rat ogre's coming back to help with our... The, the, the Chaos Warriors are quite slow. I mean, they're great, but they're, they're slow. They are very slow. Our rat ogres... Not rat ogres. Wolf rats, that's it. Hunting down all these fleeing units, especially like the cavalry, making sure they're not coming back to the fight. And it looks like Luon is now surrounded and realizes that uh, the, gate, the jig is up. This ambush has well and truly fucked him over. And once again, he's going to have to return to Bretonia with his tail between his legs. Telsium once again doing it, but holy shit, you guys. 249 kills. Calm the fuck down. I mean, they got 926 damage dealers gold, and the vast majority of that was just men at arms. So they, they, wow, murdered, murdered a lot of guys. Okay, we do have Carl here. I will try not to, Carl. So, once again, amazing work then from Telsian. Just knocking it out of the park. What a fucking guy. Got Arcane Conduit, which is good. Got Molden Knowledge. Um, I'm gonna... You know what? Eventually, I'm... Plus, this is also Death Runners, which is gonna make the these guys even more dangerous. I don't think they need to be more dangerous, but we're gonna... We're gonna do... We're, we're gonna do it anyway. Just uh, turn them right up to 11. Okay, we don't need to underway. We can just march, which is fine. We are... Okay, we can't... We can't exp... What happens if you ex... Can it expand? I guess it can't expand. I guess it can't expand to there. Which makes sense. Uh, is Wolfric... Is Wolfric dead? Let's really hurry up and kill him. Okay, we can get more foods. So, how much food are we making per turn? Settlement upkeep is minus 10. Colonization with 20. So, 10, 16... So, I mean, the more... Yeah, okay. So let's... Okay, f first things first. I don't need to see what's going... If I'm if I'm a military ally, but... I build the deeper tunnels, do I, do I lose vision? Let's find out. Let's find out. And we're also going to build a scavenger horde to get... to get some more of that... Lovely, lovely food. Okay, this is good. And hopefully we can just like expand up this arm. If we can get some, we can get another city this side, I can basically knock down 
the uh, this one because it does cost food and it costs maintenance as well. So we knock that down, we get two food and 50 maintenance, just free. And we don't need that anymore because if we've expanded in both directions, then I, I can just concentrate on making that into a money one, which is obviously going to be far more useful. We can stick our under cities in Lothurn because to be honest, I I don't want to live in their horrible island. Look at this, it's bullshit. It's, uh, it's temperate. Ugh, temperate sounds awful. Why does Skaven need to worry about, considering they live underground and not affected by uh, corruption, do you have to ask the question is, why would they be affected by the local region? Like, because they're underground, right? It's not really going to make any difference, is it? Uh, Greg, gains. Big gains and further. And I would do training, but it doesn't, doesn't double up if you've got two characters the same, so we're just going to make you into a scarred veteran. There we go. Also, I want to give you some items at some point. Uh, we do have the wolf. I kind of want to go for wolf rats. How much, how much juice have we got? 218 in one turn. Fuck me. That's a lot of juice. That's a lot of fucking juice. Uh, can we... No, you're too tired. Okay, head in this direction. Are you tired? You're not tired. You just can't do it. Is it because we don't have the money? No. It's just because... You've got a 0% chance. Base chance is 45%. Target effects minus 69. Jesus, the sex is he is he using your sexiness? Is that what he's doing? Also, we're gonna have a rebellion here. Never mind. We can go and crush that. Basically, it's lunch. Free food! Meals on legs. Hello. Okay, so Crom's coming in to help us with Thyrus. Telsian v. Thyrus. Fair play. That's nice little allied force here. We got some state troops. We got men at arms. There's some Bretonian cavalry in there. This is, uh, this is nice. I mean, they're all going to end up as jam. We've taken the high grounds. Backed up by Crom, our ally. As we rain death globes down on the enemy infantry, already destroying several units of them. Crom's moving in on the right flank. We do have a couple of units of right guard, though. Mounted yeomen as well, for some reason. On the left flank, we've got a number of uh, Empire Knights, Knights of the Blazing Sun, Knights Errant, and uh, right guard. A whole, whole, a, a tapas of knightly units, which is exciting. In the trees, we've got a wolf rat and the Viscreen's Death Squad, who currently have 58 melee attack, 64 melee defense, and 63 weapon strength, not to mention a speed of 62, which is almost as good as most cavalry, which is insane. So Krom is mostly taking... I mean, to be fair, Krom did start this, so I felt like it was on him to, uh, to redo most of the damage. I'm keeping my Death Globes back to mop this up. On the left flank, though, Viscrin's Death Squad charging in and absolutely murdering the enemy knights. Like, just a hot knife through fucking butter. These guys are getting absolutely fucking annihilated. And look, look it, it's just... And they're so fast. And plus, when they hit a unit, they're prob I mean, they've managed to slow them down to 64. They're only slightly faster than them. Which means we can pretty much keep up with them and hack them down as they try and pull out to cycle charge again. They do not know how to deal with us. Like, infantry as fast as we are. What the fuck do we do? You die. That's the answer. You fucking die. Wow, that's just uh, absolute carnage. Meanwhile, got some Chaos Knights in the midst of these halberdiers. A plague going off in the rear there. And Marauders have forsaken, overrunning the flanks. Of course, this is a grudge match because we've got Thyrus Gorman. Look at this, lads. A bit fancy, isn't he? He's got a bunch of flaming skulls. Of course he does. It's the, it's the Warhammer world. Why wouldn't you have flaming skulls? What's, what's the point of having non-flaming skulls? That should be the real question. So, the Death Squad's 
has taken absolutely no damage and is is just running down Knight's Errand as they try and run away, which is fucking amazing. Uh, these lads have, have just done amazing work. Amazing work. Ah, I think it's fair to say that we are wiping Thyrus out with zero issues. Looks like Thyrus is a little bit surrounded there by uh, some Chaos Wolfhounds. So, that's not great. Bye, Thyrus. Better luck next time. Well, the wolf rats took a bit of damage, but other than that, and I genuinely, the death squad, just amazing. Uh, I don't want the replenishment. I kind of want the. You know what? I'm going to take the money. I'm going to take the money. Uh, Chrom, again? Seriously? Going to kill my wolf rats. Uh, I can get my wolf rats. Very ballsy, though. Military access. Now, who who do you get on with? Do you get on with these guys? Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll take your money for military access then. Right, just need to wipe out the wood elves and get Telsian some wolf rats. It's this Chad Thundermusk. This one remains loyal. Yes, yes. Too loyal, perhaps, maybe. Must be planned scheming. Only possible answer. But what to do do? So, we can spray him with our musk. Which sounds fun. Uh, we can slay him. Or slay an underling. Uh, we can give... Take eye. Okay, probably won't do that. Uh, we can give him bonus experience. Promise. Whoops, and stuff. I kind of want to spray him. It's just a nice... Just a nice general trait, isn't it? More, more public order. Less corruption. More control. All provinces. Uh, we're going to spray him. Right. Telsey, oh, Telsey, you got so much plague, mate. you got tired and weeping eyes. i got a bit of that. i got conjunctivitis. I've never had conjunctivitis in my life. And since having my child, I've had it four fucking times. The little plague vectors. You think Festus is bad? Nurgle would look at a toddler and go, holy shit, guys, just tone it down. There's, there's, like, less is more. Fucking riddled. Uh, so, oh, we can't do that in our own territory. Uh, I mean, that's not... We could always wander back, couldn't we? Can we wander back? There we go. If we, if we meander in this direction... Back into oh, this is not territory, is it? It's just it's just random territory. Is it a territory? What's this? Is this ours? No, the Lawn Forest. This what's this? That's the Empire. We need to be up here. Uh, we're not up there. Let's and we're not going to be. So you know what? Just chill there for a minute. That's fine. We're going to crush the rebellion. The rebels will be finished quickly. Nom nom nom. Thank you. Uh, 11 foods. We've already maxed out food. Don't need it. Uh, I'll take the... I'll take the money. I will take the cash. Thank you. Okay. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Could upgrade this. Is that... I mean, even at the... Okay. At max rank, they do get Storm Vermin and Poison Wing Globe Ideas. That's... You know what? Pretty, pretty good. Still. Level 2, they get Clan Rat Spears and Gutter Runner Slingers. Absolute trash. Absolute garbage. Okay, that'll be finished soon. We got that one there. Uh, what are we doing here? Can we upgrade you? I'm think. How much is that going to increase it? So it's another twenty. I think that's fine. I mean, eventually we'll get, we'll get rid of this, and that's twenty discoverability. I mean, we could upgrade it, but that would be forty. It does increase the chance, but to be honest. I think we're going to knock that down soon, so I think the the money will probably be wasted. So I won't worry too much about that. Warlock, master of scryers. 
However, we are now we're now we're now making some cash, so we can get rid of these slaves. Because, you know, slaves are garbage. And we can get oh, we don't have any recruitment buildings here, do we? Okay, is there anything we need to build first? Okay, getting the docks is reasonably useful. I mean that will give us how much? 210. That's fine. I mean the breeding pit gives us more money. Which, I mean, okay, it gives us growth as well, but eventually that's going to be... It's, it's fine. Oh, I wanted to build that, didn't I? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's cancel you. And let's build this. Let's build that first. Then, Chad, we're going to upgrade your army, but that, that might be next turn. To be honest, maybe I should send you to help it to recruit units. That might be better. Okay, I've changed my minds. So sorry, Chad. We're going to send you to help it. And that's right. Off you go. You're going to recruit a nice, a fresh new army. Good, good. Not eat, eat. Yet. <laughs> Yet indeed. And I want to give Telsian some storm vermin. I might split these chieftains off at some point. Where is... Oh, yeah, you got critically injured, didn't you? I was looking for the uh, Warlock Engineer. My lady will not allow it. God damn, guys. How many fucking... Heinz. How many fucking guys? Okay, 43% chance. Come on. Good job. Nice work. Let's increase your wound success chance. I reckon your wound success chance is pretty good now. 16 and 12. So you've got quite a nice big chunk of additional chance there. And plus, uh, we haven't finished wound yet. And then we can get hero catch, which is another 10%. So eventually, you, you'll be able to just like bot people left, right and center every turn, which is going to be actually very useful for us. Marble. I mean, we can sell marble, can't we? We can trade it, because we do have some trade partners. So, you know, we've we got a little bit of trade going on there, which is good. Is there anyone... What about quick deals? Oh. No. Oh. oh, maybe. Fool. Now, you are at war with Nagarond, but... You're, so, your strength rank 4. Destroy your strength rank 78. Come. Do you get on with a Zizel? Hmm. What about Nagarond? Do you get on with a Zizel? Hmm. I'm going to say no. That is improving, though. I, I think we the council of the Witch King. I suppose. Okay, we're going to have a non-aggression pack with you. Ruin. I mean, we can have a non-aggression pack with you as well. Repellent fool. This Rude. handsome face hides it well. But I'm wiser than you know. Excellent. Only when it comes to picking out drinks. Power. Which, to the be fair, quite a good power to have. Dark master, I give. Take what's there. What? Defensive light. Clan Ferret could give one to me, but I don't really want it. I just worry who's going to declare war on them because they don't get on with these guys. So I'm just going to be like. I, I won't I won't kill you, but I'm not gonna that's that's as far as it goes. It's as far as our relationship goes. Okay, let's build the underdocks because that will give us more money, and then we can build the you know what? Let's go for the clan thingy, and then we can recruit. We can recruit infantry there if we need to. Do I want to do this? I want to wait for a brood horror. Master engineer! And you're marching, so you can't recruit monstrosities, but that's fine. Uh, we'll get the scavenger pile, because that's pretty cheap. Seems to be working for me. Well, the ward walkers are finally dead. Bunch of plague. Is that a problem? Nah. Nah, that's pretty... Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Oh, cup Festus. Okay, I'm going to have to head back. To track. Bloody F Festus, will you stop that? It's really, really quite vexing to have you as a friend. There's always bloody one, isn't there? 
listen to me, me. It's always bloody one. Okay, if you come over here, we can then do this. So, I am going to, you know what, I'm going to get another mutant rat ogre, I think. More armor, more missile resistance. Okay, that's fine. It's, it's not what I would have picked, but it is, it is adequate. And we're going to have to deal with the rebellion over here. Thank you, Festus. Still, uh, we need to upgrade this so I can get the, the public order building, because currently they are super cranky. Uh, we always recruit storm firm in there as well. Let's get the exotic animal market so we can boost up. I, th I think I'm going to go for the defenses. Just because it makes the most money. The weapon dump doesn't require a level 5. So, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for that. How's our food doing? That's what I want to know. So, so we're losing 11 a turn. Could be worse. And we've got that one coming up, so that's going to generate nice 3 for us and hopefully spread the Undercity. And we can get more growth juice from doing this. So we're making 87 growth juice a turn. Do I want marble? Yeah, because that'll increase our income. Uh, do we have the public order building? There we do. <sighs> okay, we'll leave that for a minute. Yep. Yep. Yep, I thought we might have a rebellion here, but that's okay. I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. We can deal with that. Okay, we're going to do this. So we get some brood horrors, which I think might work quite well in this army. Oh, we do have the, the thing thing, don't we? What do you do again? I've forgotten. Oh, you've got the fluid injection, haven't you? You've got the fluid injection. So actually, if we get red of this guy, I mean, he's fine. So let's recycle him. Then we can get the thing thing. And then we can, we can juice him up instead. So like we could get the ultimate mutagen. Fuck it, let's do it. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> so he's got cellular instability, weeping blades, bonus first infantry, contaminating attacks, no armor. Well, you know, that's fine. And then I am kind of want to give you the hunger as well. It's got a 50% chance. I would like to give you more weapon strength. Fuck it, let's do this. Ah. Oh. Still, you now have 811 weapon strength, which is pretty good. Not to mention you can explode. And you can increase your base weapons, uh, weapon damage, melee attack by 25%. Although you will go on Rampage. Although, to be honest, Rampage for me is just a bonus. Because it means I don't have to worry about you anymore. You can just go and do your own thing. And uh, that's fine. Okay, so there elves here? No? Can you even recruit armies at uh, outposts? I thought you probably could, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Right, Telsian. There you are. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself, buddy. Do we have any more? Ah, uh, you know what? I, I do want some brood horrors in this army. So. We kind of got a bit of a mishmash here. I don't think the rattling guns are really helping me here. So we'll get rid of them. Gonna get some more some more wolf rats. And we're gonna we're gonna choose these boys. Now, juice these bad boys up. Telsian, where's your... Right, so. Uh, charge bonus weapon strength. That's not really going to be that useful. More melee attack is going to be good. Basically, anything that's going to give you more melee attack would be... What does this do again? Damage per second. Oh, that does damage to everyone. It's an effect. That might actually be quite useful. I'm thinking, because they'll usually come around the flanks and come into the rear. So at that point, 
pop it. The effect range is 35 meters. It might do damage to everyone, but really, is that a problem? It also does damage to themselves. I don't know how I feel about that. I think... I mean, with, with 15 armor, right? Weeping Blades just means they do more damage. So, yes. And then we'll get this one as well. I mean, your upkeep is, is basically nothing anyway. So, to be honest, that, that's kind of a wasted one. How much, how much juice do we have? Oh, not enough. Well, I mean, these guys now got 37 melee attack. Plus, they reduce enemy armor by 50%. And they've got armor piercing, which means basically anything they attack is they're just going to chew through. In short order. Okay, let's head on over here, because it looks like Toddy is on his way. Although, uh, our allies are now kind of... They don't have any enemies apart from the people that have been declaring war on us. So now they're going to do a, a reverse Luon. And they're going to march through the Empire to attack our enemies. See, this is how it works. It's nice. Victory conditions. So we've got twenty. Okay, so we're almost we're almost done there. We've got we've only got one of these. Um, I'm gonna need to make I'm gonna need to link up and make friends with the other Skaven factions, and potentially kill Vlad again. I don't know. I don't know how Vlad and the Chaos factions are gonna get on. They may end up declaring war on each other. And of course, if we declare war on Vlad, there. Well, if if our allies declare war on Vlad, we will join them. And I kind of want to be in position to grab. To grab, what's that city called? Uh, fuck, that one. The the the. Talk fast, fast. What's it called? So what the fuck's it called? So uh, Mordheim. That's the one. Fucking Mordheim. Oh, they've ended the non-aggression pact. Oh well. Well, you kind of just did my job for me. Uh, they may declare. I mean, if either way, we've got a bunch of allies who will join us and crush the undead threat. But the empire is pretty fucked at the moment. Telsian. Harlutian, a minor lizard man commune. What, in the Empire? The fuck? Uh, your lord finds a hidden door on the side of one of the pyramid temples. Inside is a brilliant sheet of metal carved with strange symbols. Your lord tries to stash it away, but too late, as the item has already caught your uh, ever watchful eye. Ever watering eye, I mean. We can copy this. Uh, so that'll give us 35% research. That's quite nice. Uh, what's this? Chromatic armor. Missile resistance armor and glittering scales. I I don't know if that is actually going to be that useful. I'm going to copy the symbols. I'm going to get the research boost. Oh, you're back. Good. Where did... Ah, there you are. There you are, you little cheeky monkey. Let's hunt you down and uh, finish you off. Talking of finishing off, I think I'll take Wrecker's points. Thank you. And if any luck, with any luck, that'll be the end. Oh, yeah, there we go. Again, what else? Perfect. I, I kind of want to grab Black Pit. If we can grab Black Pit, that'd be great. I thought Festus had taken it, but apparently not. Uh, let's get blessed with filth. Gorich, you're going to go Blade Shields. I guess I kind of want all of your, your melee stats before I do anything else. And you are ticked, so I don't need to worry about you. Chad, go and murder the rebellion there. That's just free lunch. Oh, we got a Doom Flayer. Lovely. Ooh. Little motorcycle there for you. Okay, let's get evasion for you. And we want to recruit some now. We've got the play claw catapults, which is fine. I'm gonna give you some rat ogre. I'm gonna give you a big boy and a couple of those. 
80. Right. And then if I just get a little bit more infantry for you, that'll do for the moment. Let's upgrade you as well. Okay, with any luck, we can come down, murder, murder Toddy. I would like to go and grab Black Pit if we can. I mean, Marienburg is probably a good option as well. Although it's currently contested. What you ask is impossible. There's a bunch of Bretonians there as well. Right, so we need to finish off the... Em I mean, to be honest, the Empire is basically dead at this point. It looks like Vlad has is rolling up the south of the Empire. Uh, me and Festus have taken the north. And then we are into uh, Bretonia itself. I mean, I, I don't really have a plan about... I, I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just kind of like, just mooching around. So I guess we want to put you in this army. I want to get rid of one of these guys. Uh, no, we can't get rid of Chad. I might get rid of one of the Rat Ogres. Maybe the Flight... Because they've only got two and they're also unstable. So we could get rid of those guys. And get Blister in here. Mostly for the increased mobility. That's that's literally the only reason I probably want him in the army. I mean, a little bit of magical support isn't isn't the worst thing. You, you do have Death Frenzy, which would be nice to cast on my Rat Ogres. Because 25% armor piercing and normal weapon damage, and then 24 melee attack on top of that. Pretty good. Twisted beyond recognition. More melee attack and weapon strength for the Helped Abominations. That will come on handy. Uh, let's grab... Freaks off the leash. Well. I do like... I, I, I do like my wolf rats. Ah, feed me. Uh, right. Don't take Black Pit. Oh, you're not going for Black Pit. Excellent. I could go and hunt you down, but to be honest, I've got better things to be doing. And frankly, the less settlements that Festus has, the less plague I'm probably going to get. So, good. Can we... Now, if you wander down here... I would like to do some raiding if we can. We cannot. Okay, just go into Ambush Stance. Right, we will... We'll juice these guys. And we'll get you in here. It's a little bit more character heavy than I like to be. Oh, we've got creature killer as well. I completely forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Kids. And I mean, bonus first large for everyone around. I mean, that's quite nice. That's quite good. And it's uh, it's a nice little nice little weapon that I completely forgot that was a thing. It just just completely slipped my mind. Right, well let's uh, let's fuse these things, because that's trash. A war banner. Wow. That's exciting. I'm going to fuse these two. Armor of Fortune. Okay. I really like the Warp Zone armor, so I'm not going to fuse that. I, can't, I like the Skalm as well, so... All right, we won't worry. Um, war banners are kind of, kind of meh. The Box of Eerie Noises. What the fuck does that do? Discourage attack cause discourage effects. That's quite nice. Cause fear and terror. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, sure. Uh, shall we give that Ted's? Master Lord of Hellpit. You got Skaven Brew, but to be honest, if I give you the box of eerie noises, then I can give Gandalf the way the Skaven Brew. Because it's it's not really, you know, that useful. That gives you discourage. Hunger. Which is good. I'm going to give Telsian the other tricksters shards. Something like that. Uh, I'm also going to give you the armor of fortune to try and keep you alive. Help it attendant. Oh, that's just more research rate. That's pretty good. Artifact hunter's good. I don't. More armor for those guys is. It, it's fine. To be honest, you're not going to be in a you're not going to be in a settlement long enough to to really boost the growth. So we'll do something like that. 
money wise okay we'll get the tannery we'll get that one we don't have the public order building at the moment uh, we'll get the fences though because we do have this guy running around causing all kinds of shenanigans which is what i need you i need you Go and hunt him down. Right, public order there should be fine for a minute. We are upgrading that, then we can get the public order building in there, which would be good. Jeff. Tell you what, come down here. Just kind of, hello. I'm hoping, I'm hoping at least that, you know, the armies coming northward are going to meet my allies coming southward, and then we'll just sort of like, they, they won't end up near my settlements. I'm going to see if I can grab the wastelands, because I think Marienburg... I think we will get the Marienburg port. And again, that'll be good month. What the fuck is that? The Chapel of Manan. Oh, that's quite fun. It's quite fun. There's no way to talk about your acting. Okay, let's build that one up. Because that will give us more money. Not we're making a huge amount of money there, but it, it's something. I think this, this province should be doing okay. So, 672 there, 672 there. Pretty much what I thought. I mean, we don't have the best economy. But it... Is it better? I, I guess we get a lot from post-battle. Post-battle killing. And plus the Undercity. We get the Undercity money as well, which is nice. I will. Yep. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ooh, we'll a few confederations. Our ambush was spotted. Apparently Orion's doing shenanigans. Harvest the man things. I probably won't do that. Right. Chad, you need to go and hunt down Boris. Telsian, you're going to go and try and blunt the new offensive from everyone. And Throt is going to try and grab the wastelands. The rest of our settlements seem fairly safe, so that's good. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.